It's a Wednesday. It's that means it's time for Maddie Skyline. Maddie Sky, the food and culture editor of the San Antonio Express News. Joining us here on the Blitz, he's Joe Ryan Engel. I'm Jay Semenix. Maddie Sky, boy, it must be a slow day at the office. Your hair is done, the makeup's on, the lighting is good. How's your Wednesday, Maddie? It's actually a very busy Wednesday. I've just been like on it today. Like after this, I have another story to write. Uh, I'm, I've been busy all day, but I actually cooked myself some lunch. You're right. I did my. I, got, I went to the gym this morning. Wow. You know, I'm on it. I'm on it today. This is just my natural hair, by the way. I didn't do anything to it. Well, normally, uh, I can tell. Um, you know, if it's up, kind of hidden, kind of whatever. You know, now it's like this is all right. Fair enough. For and those watching, you know what I'm saying. Talk about. Huh? Wow. I have a bunch of stories to talk about, too. Well, let's get into well, it. Yeah, what are you writing about? What You, you say you're going to get off of this and write about something. What is it? Can you tell us? Oh, unfortunately, that is not so much of a positive story. We had a vandalism downtown of a really beloved French restaurant. I'm not going to try pronouncing the name because I'll butcher it. I've been there, <laughs> though. Um, it was a spot that we would eat at a lot when we were in office. Um so I'm, I'm writing up that because it's really cool. Um, you know, I'll, San Antonio always rally support. And the cool part about it is that there is a GoFundMe um, created to support them through their their uh, incident. But we have had a lot of fun stories recently. I tried five different Whataburger orders, which was oh, wow. such a hard task for me, such a hard assignment. Well, well but, and, but what's interesting about that, and I wanted to ask you about that because you solicited – uh, your your readers and followers to send you their special orders at Whataburger, yeah. and you are going to go try five of them. I'm curious, what weird stuff do people try to get? I mean, I know Burger King, you get it your way, but at Whataburger, it, it, it's kind of the same like thing. It. Was there some yeah, very, very like odd it. combinations that you said, all right, I'll give that one a try? There weren't so many odd combinations. There was one that I was teetering on until I found um, one that I really liked because somebody had suggested doing like, I think it was a patty melt, but instead of using whatever sauce that comes with it to do ketchup. And I was like, I like ketchup, but not enough to swap out my sauce. But I will say there are some that I really wanted to try, but I A, could not find time to wake up that early and B, didn't want to eat that late. But apparently... If you order a burger during breakfast hours, which is 11 p.m. to 11 a.m., you can get a fried egg on your burger. Oh, wow. Have you never put a fried egg on your burger? No, I mean, I have, but not at Whataburger. Oh, okay. I have didn't know you could do at that. Whataburger? At Whataburger? I didn't know. Oh. Have the you thing, ever put a fried egg on your burger? I have, but yeah. not at Whataburger. Well, I, 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 feel- I got to admit, though, a lot of those places, I wonder, are they using actual fried eggs where they crack the egg and fry it, or is it the pre-made egg that goes on the like biscuits and well you know what i'm it's saying water burger it's gotta be a it's real water. egg of course it's, yeah, it's you say egg. that like you know there was hesitation on your part for a reason too i mean i don't know what's going on i just know whatever comes out is delicious so <laughs> but i i did notice that because mind you these submissions were were sent in you know on a, it was, they were coming in everywhere. It was Instagram, Twitter, email, my my Instagram, other people's or, or my my SA Instagram. So I did get kind of lost in the sauce a little bit, and you know people are typing these, so they can't really tell you exactly what the order is. Um, and I did flub one. I want to apologize. There was one that said you can add a chicken patty. So I was like, surely they mean sub out the beef patty for the chicken patty. Well, I, I tried that one and that is good like that. I, it was a little bit of confusion. Like the guy at the counter did not understand what I wanted. So I had to like go back and forth a few times with him and then send back my order. Oh, nice. Thank you, Rocky. Um, but this man, what he really wanted me to do was add, literally add the chicken patty to the beef patty. So you get both. I like that. Uh, yeah, that makes I've, sense. That I've makes done sense. that at McDonald's. And, and again, you do that and you get the Diet Coke <laughs> on the side to make you feel better. Wait a minute. You can do that at McDonald's yeah, too? Rocky. Yeah, it's yeah. People in college used to do that a lot. Back wow. when metabolism were great. I've yeah. been missing um, out on some good food. I, two, I'm really two, happy. Two AM orders can get creative. Yes, they can, right? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and my favorite though, when I talk about my favorite, like the one I've been telling my family about and my friends about, um, uh, there was one that was I knew I was gonna be biased towards it because I love number five, the bacon, the double the bowl with the bacon. 
And but Megan Gagban, shout out to her. She it was the last one I tried. You know, I was like searching. I was like, eh, yes, no, yes, no. But finally, I see, I see hers, and she said, "Get the number five, add honey barbecue sauce to it, sub it with Swiss cheese, add fire roasted mushrooms and fire roasted veggies, uh, grill everything that you can, toast the buns, and it is." delicious it's that savory is, wow it's sounds like good. very much like smash style burger like just like messy and like oof. And yeah. it, do all that and add the fried egg next too. time <laughs> right now, now maddie does that, that did that take a too. long time to get that burger ready with all that stuff um so i will say that it's easier to complete your order online because i think they have like a butcher's uh, list of exactly what you want the other ones i went in and they i did i felt like i was i'm a person that doesn't want to bother anybody so it kind of like made me go out of my comfort zone to like stand there and tell them, like, no, no, not that. No, because it's four stories. So it has to be quick. Um, and it, it didn't take a long time, but it, there was, there were some hiccups, like I mentioned with the kitchen, not understanding what I wanted. So if you're going to do that, definitely order online, but there are certain things like that chicken, the chicken and beef one. Like, I don't think there's an option to add another protein. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's too. interesting. I, I get, I get my burger with no tomatoes and it's 50, 50, whether it comes with tomatoes. So if you try to get overly complicated, <laughs> it really is whoever's taking your order or who's in the back and how closely they're paying attention. Yeah. I mean, definitely that, be patient. that definitely comes so. with the territory. Maddie sky from the express mm -hmm. news with us here. That was a great article with the different combinations from Whataburger. Now, speaking of combinations, um, I've known you long enough, Maddie, that I know you love, 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 love Valentine's day. I love Valentine's Day. <laughs> so uh, your story the other day, which I'm sure you take a lot of pleasure in writing, and I love the tweet about petty spaghetti for Valentine's Day. The <laughs> zoos cry me a cockroach fundraiser that they're doing again for Valentine's Day. Somehow I could just see the smile on your face as you were putting that article together. So that's actually my staff member, Camille, that wrote it. Uh, I, I could see the smile on your face together. as you were reading that article. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was so funny because we, since I am her editor and we're, you know, working remote, I edit with her. Uh, we screen share and I go through everything with her. And her, she's just really funny too. So go read everything Camille writes. Um, she's a great writer, but we were really stuck on the headlines. So everything else was natural that, you know, she's awesome. But the headlines, we were like, we were really proud of that because we were like, we, there's a joke somewhere. There has to be a joke somewhere. And then we were literally looking up roach photos for inspiration. I was like, Camille, we got to get this together. And she was like, what about exterminate? You know, exterminate rats, exterminate roaches, the whole thing. So yes, we got a lot of good laughs out of that. And Tim and his team over at the zoo, like they have been doing this, I think for three or four years. And every time it comes out, it like gets so such big attention. I think one year, like, CNN picked it up. It's a great promotion. It's wow, crazy. yeah, it's a great promotion. I would never do it. Surprisingly, I would never. I wouldn't waste the time or money on my. It's exes a fundraiser for the zoo, it. and you've got plenty of exes that you could feed those roaches to. <laughs> I mean, I know you well <laughs> enough, Maddie. I mean, this is this is this is right up your alley. Wait a minute, that's a whole nother story in <laughs> itself. How many exes do you have, Maddie? We don't talk about that. <laughs> um, I think <laughs> They're not worth talking. Let's not give them their time. <laughs> They're worth a roach. <laughs> Maybe. Some Maybe of them. Cockroaches but that they yes. are. <laughs> I do see them as cockroaches. That's true. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not go down that route. <laughs> oh, the show's getting good now. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Confessions but... with Maddie Sky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the 745 yes. segment. <laughs> we'll do that at uh, would, Maddie Sky we, after dark. That'll yes. be the new podcast. We would need a whole other hour. To we, 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 we would. Maddie, before we let you go and we're running up against the time wall, I, I want to ask you about something that Ryan Eagle and I experienced the other day. We're, we're coming to working on, on Eisenhower by the radio station. There was this shady, sketchy looking van with a banner on the yeah. side that said free COVID test. Yeah. We both saw it. So we jumped in the car when we were talking about it in the office, like, did you see that thing? And we went over there and took photos of it. And we're glad we didn't get shot at while we were doing our investigative journalism. Right. <laughs> right. But, um, but by the way, the van wasn't there today. It's not there. It, yeah. It, it, it's not there today. I they saw I, your post on Instagram. Uh, you know, maybe, but but are there? Apparently, there's lots of these shady-looking vans everywhere. Um, 
but you had an article not long ago about scammer COVID sites. Right. Yes. So I thought I had gone to one. Long story short, I didn't. And long story short, I did get to catch COVID two weeks ago. Um, and I knew they weren't shady because I tested positive with them and with this other site that I trust a lot. But I thought that's what kind of got my my gears going because I was like, is this place legit? Because there was no line. I had never heard of them before. Um, so I reached out to Metro Health and the officials there and they said that they, just like these other big cities, there were some testing sites popping up that were kind of rogue. And the biggest sign that should tell you that it is illegitimate or, you know, not the real thing is if they ask you for a social security number or if they ask you for any payment, because those things should not be happening. Um, and of course, if there's no, no signage, if you can always, if you're not able to contact like the main office and that's kind of suspicious. Um, you saw I, photos thing, of that van. Would you get tested yeah. there? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. But if they said free tacos, I'd probably show up. Well, well, I mean, that's it. I mean, and maybe the test was free, but the results were expensive. Or... It was the ice cream man. I'm convinced of it, right? So I think you got a popsicle or you know, frozen fudge pop or I something. I don't know that I would even want ice cream out of that van. <laughs> I mean, that's where you go to yeah. get things. <laughs> it was... The crazy thing is that no, nobody knows where the information is going. Well, that's it. So that's... I, I mean, because I've heard of people that were doing or they would go get tested and never got their results. Right. Yeah. And you kind of wonder, okay, yeah. so were they just sending it in so they get paid from the government, but never really mm -hmm. testing? They just showed that they swabbed so yeah. many people. I, I don't know. It just looks shady as hell. And the fact that it's not there today. Well, maybe it just yeah. moved, yeah. relocated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're on the move, Jason. Not enough That's customers right. in this abandoned yes. gas station. We've got so let to me go try somewhere, somewhere else. else. <laughs> Right. Uh, of all the creepy things I've seen on Austin Highway through the years, that that was that's that right was up creepy. there at the top. Yeah, that yeah. was creepy. Yeah, Maddie, enjoy your week. Appreciate the time. Thanks, guys. Have fun. See y'all. Maddie Bye. Sky from the San Antonio Express News and my essay. She joins us every Wednesday.